Now, it's groundbreaking. It could help more people to see. And one Londoner who's had the revolutionary bionic eye implant says she hopes she'll be able to see her grandchildren again. The 88-year-old is one of the estimated 5 million people worldwide who have a form of dry age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, which causes blind spots. Victoria Hollins has the story. Here comes the glasses. Making the final adjustments for a patient who's virtually blind in her left eye. These glasses contain a camera linked to a small computer which connects with a microchip recently inserted under her retina. The chip is placed in the centre of the, of the retina, which is the seeing part of the eye, and we can stimulate the chip um, for her to start to see different types of signals. So that shows that we will hopefully be able to now train her to see things within the centre of her eye which she never saw before. So I've been seeing my grandchildren and <laughs> when I look in the mirror I'm going to get a shock. <laughs> this is part of a clinical trial five years in the making which is why we're not using the patient's name. She had the chip inserted a month ago. This is her first set of eye tests. Keep looking a bit up. Once the lights are out the experts can begin to work out what she can see. So what is the colour? Green. I want to be able to go out more because I haven't been going out all that much. I just go out to church on a Saturday and I don't go out there during the week. So maybe be better now if I can see better. Yeah. Age-related macular degeneration causes loss of vision in the centre of the eye. It's the most common cause of significant sight loss in the developed world. When I first heard about this particular technology and seeing the results from Stanford, I thought this, this has potential to really be a game changer and, and we're now seeing that in the clinical trials. So from a personal note, I'm just so happy now that I can talk to patients about a new technology that potentially could benefit them. And all these years, uh, there's been nothing. This grandmother will have to undergo many training sessions to encourage improvements in her vision, but Moorfields Eye Hospital hopes to recruit more patients into the study and help the millions affected by a life-changing disease. Victoria Hollins, BBC London. Incredible. Uh, turning briefly to a couple of the day's other developments. A man from Surrey has